Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Agile Tester Sample Paper Discussions. We are in chapter 1 talking about, our, about Agile Software Development, which is chapter 1. And of course, we are looking at the set B. We have already covered one and we are looking forward to add more value by adding some more questions from our discussion to make sure that you have a wonderful experience learning about the same thing. So today we shall be looking forward to continue with our journey of discussions on sample questions and we have few more questions to talk about. Well, the next question we have for you is question number seven and it says in which agile approach is simplicity one of the stated values used by guide development. Now, of course, uh, we, if you remember in this uh, syllabus in chapter one, we have covered three different approaches. Uh, that is extreme programming, Scrum and Kanban. Where extreme programming and Kanban are at the very high level and has only limited information, uh, like pointers given to you, what are the values and what are the principles. So XP has certain values like five values and 13 principles. And similarly, Scrum has different values which is core four core values which is agile manifesto and then you do have the you know different principles related to it like we use stand up sprint which is time boxing etc and kanban makes use of the board and the work in progress limit so if you just quickly recall you would be able to correlate that simplicity as a value not as a principle right is a keyword which relates to extreme programming extreme pro programming is the option or the methodology under agile which offered creating or taking baby steps which means that you should not take a bigger chunk of work at a time and look forward to break biggest thing into smallest piece of work and then take it at a time right so even agile one of the principles says that simplicity the art of maximizing the amount of work not done is essential which simply means that you can break a complex piece of work into multiple childs but make it as simplified as possible so that one can take it at a time and work on it so in that discussion or with that particular understanding we can come to the straightforward answer which is the right answer here is a extreme programming is the method or methodology or the approach of agile which offers you uh, simplicity as one of the important value well we have another very straightforward question as well like if you are using a board to show the various stations of activities which means status like to do in progress and done such as development or testing what type of agile approach are you following now many people would go wrong here because a common understanding says that scrum also uses board but i'm not sure if you followed my instructions in the tutorial or if you remember everything from there i clearly mentioned the board was not introduced by scrum scrum only introduced time boxing planning for iterations like sprint and then working on it and picking up the next item in fact they are the one who introduced that is scrum introduced what is the concept of backlog and how exactly the work can be planned in advance and you know prioritized so that the sprint can come and pick up the next set of items whereas the board was never introduced or was never an element of scrum altogether it was introduced by Kanban, where Kanban also introduced a concept of work in progress limit, where they mentioned that uh, you just can't, can't take number of items at a time in progress, so it'll be limited to certain number of items at a time. That means Kanban uses a limit on work in progress items and allows only limited cards to be in that particular station. So Kanban was the one who introduced the board and later it was used uh, in scrum as well in that context putting it very straightforward together the right answer here is b kanban is the methodology or approach which introduced the board concept and using different status to be displayed which shows the progress of team and their work so these questions are pretty pretty you know kind of straightforward but many you know people may think oh this is very simple no it's very tricky if you just go wrong with your real usage of agile compared to what you have covered in the syllabus you are going to go wrong so don't underestimate these uh, straightforward questions because they have their own beauty and a lot of trick involved so that's the reason we are solving this here for you 
Well, moving on to the next one, we have question number nine, and it needs a little bit of effort to understand, right? So right here it says, uh, as you are reviewing the following story with the business and product owners. That's great to know. As a dog owner, I want to register my dog online so I can quickly compete complete this legal requirement of dog ownership. You want to implement the invest technique. If you know, again, right here, you should recall what exactly invest is all about and how does that help anyone to, you know, review a particular story, right? So invest technique during this review, which invest item is missing from this story and would need additional elaboration. So first of all, if you see here, we got few things to talk about. Number one, we need to discuss that what exactly INVEST is all about. So INVEST stands for independent. Then we have N for negotiable. V stands for valuable. E stands for estimable. S stands for small. And T stands for testable. So if I first of all try to look forward to understand that security, value, testability, the three C's concepts are different things related to a user story, right? But most important thing here they're asking you is from invest, what is that which is missing here, right? So we do have a very, very straightforward answer, right? But uh, we just need to take care of some good discussions before we can com conclude that. The straightforward answer is elaborate the invest into all the full forms and find out what is uh, kind of like is not listed here. So if you look at this particular story, it says, uh, as a dog owner, I want to register my dog online so I can quickly complete this legal requirement of dog ownership. Now, two things. He want to register his dog online. Second is his requesting can quickly complete. So quickly completing is not a functional requirement. It's a performance requirement. And on the other hand, if I talk about uh, the registration process, which is a functional requirement. So one first point is that. So I need to check that out of invest, which one is not fulfilling, right? So straightforward, number one, what we get easy way to deal with is, um, if you look at the options, we have four options here. That is, security is not a part of invest technique, valuable is a part of invest technique, but yes, it is valuable for a new dog owner to register themselves. So yes, it's adding, uh, adding value to the application. Uh, testability is another parameter uh, and this thing is not testable because a functional requirement is demanding a non-functional expectation. And D3C's concept is not a part of invest, right? So A and D can be ruled out, but you will be somewhere stuck between B and C. But if you're damn sure with the statement when you're reading it, you have the complete clarity, okay? But on the other hand, if I deep dive here, that in, in the invest technique, T is testable, that is basically not present here. And uh, if you talk about one of the properties like valuable, uh, the value delivery by story is very stated in the statement. So that does not really take care of that. So A and D does not deal with it, but the C is what is missing here. So I cannot test this uh, quickly word because if you tell me more about performance itself, okay, if I don't talk about the second approach, right? If you don't talk about the comparison between the functional and the non-functional attribute, quickly is not measurable. If you tell me this application should work on all major browsers, what does major mean? Major is not a browser, right? For you, it could be Chrome. For me, it could be Safari. For someone else, it could be Mozilla Firefox, right? So what is major to you? It's not clear. Same way if I tell you that it should work on all, um, it should, my system should be very fast. Now, what is very fast? Uh, it is not a measurable parameter. Same way, I can quickly complete this legal requirement of dog ownership that quickly doesn't have a parameter. I cannot test it. So you should tell me less than three seconds, less than five seconds, or total turnaround time should be five minutes. I understand I can measure it. But when there are no numbers, I cannot measure it. So testability is something which is missing here. So I think by now you should have the answer already. The right answer here for this question is C, testability, is one of the invest parameter or technique which is missing in this particular user story. So you should have the skill of reading a user story and reviewing it yourself before you look at the option. Otherwise, it will be very you know, difficult to come to the conclusion that why should I pick C 
or why not B or maybe security or something, right? So it becomes very tricky. Anyways, so put together, that's all what we had from this particular tutorial team. We'll be getting back to you with other questions in the next tutorial. So should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.